Hi, Samantha. Hi, Eugene. Okay, so I'm glad to that you can come to this interview. So before we start the interview, right, maybe you can do a little bit introduce, let us know who you are. Sure. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a student of a degree, actually, I'm a teaching student and majoring in PR, and currently I'm having my I see. So based on we know that you can't make your intern, right? So to get inside to the effect of income inequality on university students in Malaysia, have we have so we prepared some question of serious question that focus on your personal experience and perspective. Okay. So the first question will be how has income inequality in Malaysia impact your ability to offer cover the cost of your internship such as transportation, accommodation and daily expenses? So first and foremost for information, my salary for my internship actually is just eight hundred, and my um, the, my job my internship actually is based in PJ Kalajaya, so it's a very common area which um, the rental is quite high a bit. So the rent, I have rented a house there, and my rental actually is around six hundred. So it's just only my rental, and my didn't counted my uh, transportation and my daily expenses. Actually, it's not even like it's very not enough to cover my cost actually. So actually, my I have asked my parents to like sponsor a bit on my rental side so that I can manage to cover my the other costs uh, during my internship. Yes, my internship actually is around four months, so it's actually it's quite too a bit too low for my expenses from my own opinion. Ah, I see. So the second question I have to ask you is like, have you have made any significant sacrifices or compromise in your education or personal life due to financial contraction during your internship? If so, could you provide some example? Yes, it it does brings a quite a huge impact to me actually in my personal daily life like because like first month actually I didn't ask for a sponsor on my rent from my parents. Then I found that actually it's quite hard for me to like. Uh, save my money and have some extra incomes. Uh, I mean, extra uh, expenses and to cover my costs of my uh, daily life, like uh, my food, uh, transportation. Because I live in Thailand, and I drive, drove myself. I I got my own transportation, so I actually will return to Thailand, which is my home, around one or twice, once or twice in a week. So actually, you know, it's like it's peak hour during peak hour my Will be a uh, long distance and duration for me, and it's quite uh, how to say pricey on your petrol. Yes, that's right, correct. Right. So I have a quite like I need to refill my car once a week, and it's quite a cost to me actually. So if I didn't ask any sponsor from my parents, actually I I have no money to come back in actually. Yeah. So actually, it's quite a sacrifice is that I need to because. In uh, our opinion, actually, internship is kind of like extra income or a uh, trial for us to having a uh, like working adult's life and having incomes for us, and especially where our internship is like a uh, quite a uh, loose for me. Like I, I, I'm actually expecting I have extra income from internship side actually because actually we are. I know that some some they say oh you learn from your office or your bosses that teach you many things so actually it's you like should a win win yeah it's yeah. a win situation I think but I, in my opinion actually my boss like they want to teach us is their their own choices so they can choose to not to teach us but we are still doing our things for them and they should pay us actually because we are still as a like intern but then we are still working for them. So they can make it as an excuse that we learn things for them. So they just pay us so low salary. Ah, okay. Based on the example they are provide to me, it's really true that what happened currently in nowadays situation. So next, I want to ask you, right? What are your thoughts on the government policy in initiative and at addressing income inequality in Malaysia? Do you believe some there is a measure have had a positive impact on students like yourself? So I believe that Malaysia government actually already realized how this situation and this problems for internship students. So actually, there I can see their uh, movements already, which they already make announcement. I think it's during the few the first few months this year, which they say the salary for internship students will increase to thousand and uh, like between thousand and thousand five hundred. But 
I can see actually quite many of the company actually is not yet uh, like follow up this training as because like for example my company only give me 800 ringgit for my salary so but then I believe that Malaysian government will take action like they will explain more details announcement to so that make sure the company will understood how the new policy goes and like, make sure the companies will follow up on this like catch up this announcement Mm, new policy lah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So thank you, Samantha, to the end of this interview to let us know more about your perception on now this intense POV. Thank you so much. Yeah.